Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2. I'm JC Proton. Uh, this is episode 50 of my sixth Let's Play series. We're playing the um, the Vaulters, a custom faction of Vaulters, endless difficulty, endless duration game. We're picking up where we left off at uh, turn 89. And uh, I was uh, clicking around doing some... Um, checking the diplomacy situation and uh, I remembered that Horatio had sent that weird uh, mixed message about wanting to be my friend, right? Uh, so I went ahead and clicked through um, and to talk to him and uh, I saw that he, he wants an alliance, but um, he uh, when I offer peace, he's willing to give me some stuff that's useful. Um, He's willing to give me most of his jade onyx and most of his titanium, it would seem, uh, in order to have peace with me. <clears throat> and um, so I think I'm going to make the offer, and we'll see. We'll see if he takes me up on that. Oh, looks like he did. Horatio are as happy to accept this proposal as we are to accept adulation. <laughs> Okay, so cool. I am at peace with Horatio for now. <clears throat> I would say we are frenemies. Uh, you know, long term, long term, yeah, that's going to be mine. And this will probably be mine too. <clears throat> but for now, we'll be friends. Um, let's talk with others. Maybe these guys over here, the United Empire. We are at war. You test my patience contacting the Empire. He is disinclined. <clears throat> he would give me some titanium. Yeah, no. <clears throat> so it's not going to be him. I don't think any of these the ones are going to want peace. The forests and the heart are ancient. Do not attempt to discern them. Yeah, he's not even willing to talk about peace. <clears throat> there are times when the church must act in its own best interests. Vodiani are also unwilling to discuss terms of peace. Cravers don't know what peace is. Um, and these guys are not... We're not going to have peace with them. <clears throat> okay, cool. So... I would say, uh, so what I did here, I went ahead and set these two planets for evacuation, these two systems. So they'll be evacuated next turn when we click over. Um, and so now what remains is what happens if we do that? You know what? I can just keep them here. If I keep these guys here and I move these guys here, then collectively that's enough to take these guys down if they retreat. So then we could also
can't quite reach, can he? Everything speed five. Is there a slower ship in there that's slowing me down? <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> Okay, so let's do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let's see, we have two bolts there. Let's see, those two, 471, this guy is already slightly damaged. 46, yeah, those two can handle that guy, no problem. All right. So we need enough here to handle this. Okay, I think one six-pack should handle that, no problem. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's defend against this pirate mark. Total fleet there is 2,400 attack. Should fare okay against these kind of attacks. We will find out. We'll we'll do the repair uh, tactic. I might be wishing that I had more firepower there. Oh, 
that's a pirate coming in. Okay. All right, so our total fleet, 2,400. Yeah, we've got a lot of guns there, though. We've got a lot of guns there, and this is mostly kinetic that's coming at me, so we should fare all right. We should fare all right there. Okay, so um, we are not going to buy out this pirate mark. No, no, no. We'll just crush the pirates. And this is absolutely a joy to see. <laughs> looky, looky, looky. A colony ship heading for Ubella. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Delightful to see. All right. Um, so... Next thing to do is to have a conversation with Lumeris. Sometimes it's hard to tell your friends from your enemies, isn't it? They have a little bit of jade onyx. They have a little bit of titanium. They don't really have a whole lot of what I'm interested in. Okay, so the systems I want are Heka, Imnos, Zane. Okay. So, these are diplomatic channels, not social media. Hecka. Ah. Himnos. Same. Okay. How about you just hand those over to me? Not interested. I mean, we can do it peaceably, right? Um like, if you do that, I will give you peace. Uh. What do you think about that? <laughs> what about some hmm. dust? I know you guys like dust. <clears throat> All right. Never mind. Can't say I didn't give it give peace a chance. Isn't that what they say, right? Give peace a chance. I was giving peace a chance. But you guys are not being reasonable. I mean, you see what's about to happen here, right? There's there's no doubt what's about to happen. So Yeah, the writing's on the wall. But okay. Um if you wanna I, I, we can do it the easy way, we can do it the hard way. I'm, I'm here. You say you want to do it the hard way. So again, yeah, yeah. How about that? <laughs> How about that? We tried the easy way, man. We're trying to be cool, but uh, apparently we're not gonna be friends. So uh, here we go. <laughs> You enjoy stepping on toes, don't you? Desperate acts for desperate times. All right, so he's going to retreat. I wonder, does he have movement enough? He does. Will he be able to get over here? One, two, three. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we might have to run with these if he retreats. <clears throat> All right, we'll see. Oh, you know what? I need I, I need to uh, I need to change up my battle tactics as well. Repair and recover. Okay. Do, 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 do. We'll get this going here. Let's do all in one lane. That's fine. I'm sure he'll. he'll I'm sure he'll retreat. <clears throat> a 
Okay, so now they're damaged. I can come back here. <clears throat> oh, they were guarding. That's why everybody's at zero movement. Okay. <clears throat> so that one will zip down here, and then these guys will all land here, and then that'll, he'll be the focus fire target. <laughs> all right, that'll work. Okay, so these guys are sieging now. All right. Okay. Next piece of business. Let's have a discussion over here. I want Zanes and Nos. Echius. That would be a good start. I wonder. What is the appropriate greeting in these circumstances? A little bit of titanium. They have a little bit of resources, not really a lot. Not a lot there. Okay, so it's not peace. You don't want peace. You don't want an alliance. You don't want open borders. You don't want to interact with me in a friendly way at all. So I'll tell you what. We'll save you the trouble, and we'll just go ahead and declare war on you. How about that? <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> they will be sieged down completely in a single turn. Given our actions, we will not judge you for this. Okay. They're not judging me for declaring war on them. I guess because we've had some hostile interactions, right? Yeah, they attacked me and stuff, if I remember right. Okay, cool. So, delighted to see that he is going to be colonizing. Wonderful news. He can wait. And I guess that's the end of the turn. <laughs> uh, battle tactics, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was something I wanted to change here. So that one is situationally useful. I don't think I'm going to really be needing. I don't. I'm not like like if you're outgunned, um, and you want to try to minimize your losses. That's that's one way to go, right? Um, there was another one I wanted to do. I think there was one that's something about where it's evasive tactics and it helps you get in close. I 
guess I don't have it. I thought I had it. Okay. Um, so there's one where you have like 30% extra dodge chance at long range and then 15% extra chance to dodge at medium range and then 0% extra chance to dodge at short range. And it's used basically if you have a short range damage type fleet um, but you end up engaging at long, longer or medium range. It's, it's a way of helping you survive the long range, medium range part of the fight to get in close and get to that uh, that that part of the the, the last phase because you always start at the longest range of either battle tactic. But I, I, apparently I don't have it. I I thought I had it, but apparently I don't. So never mind that. And the other thing is uh, in a step towards being able to use um, the strat recyclers. Um, I want to go ahead and uh, try to get not just this tactic for this, but also the one to give additional module slots for the bolt class. So that'll let me have more, uh, theoretically, maybe be able to get more strat recyclers on there. Um, so yeah, let's do that. And we'll work on bigger fleets as well. And aerial grand troops. <laughs> Again, with the oxymoron. Um, okay, uh, let's go ahead and click on over. I think that's everything. So we've, we've got some war going on now in this here galaxy. War, war, war. And temporarily, peace with Horatio. You know, he's happy about that scenario, having me at war with him and not on him. So, yeah. I would be willing to do peace with all three of these, all four of these temporarily. But apparently they're not so inclined. So, anyway, let's click on over. And get started on turn number 90. We'll take a peek at turn 90, actually. The plan will be to colonize Rukbot here. And get busy with some combat. We're going to move the fleets. As we're going to spam this move all fleets button. Because we want to get the fleets in position. Like up here. Uh, where was it? Here, here, yeah. We want these fleets on location. Cool. Ooh, we're getting attacked. Pirates attacking here. Pirates at core. Cool. Horatio remains appreciative of your attitude and is always ready to lend advice. <laughs> we share an enemy. A boil on the black backside of the galaxy indeed. Why don't we throw a lot together and get all hot and sweaty as we land through Oof. Ah, it's kind of ew. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, another 15% industry, yep, that'll work, population grew, uh, we built stuff, Sure. 
All right, we are under attack here. <clears throat> Check out, oh, a single ship that's attacking me. Wow, okay, that seems pretty foolish. Okay, well, my ships have armor, and we have a bolt there as well, so. Sure, we'll just go ahead and go turtle. The repair amount should be enough to deal with it. Yeah, we can just do repair and recover. That'll be fine. That'll work, too. <clears throat> Should be a quick fight. Hard target. 25% long-range defense. So this is probably a fleet that is, since they're not attacking, they're probably um, a quest fleet. You know, destroy this fleet of uh, pirates that are uh, also stage performers or something, I think it is. And then if I do, then it's going to complete somebody's quest for them. So I'm going to actually not attack them. I don't want to help somebody else get a minor faction. I guess because I don't know which one it would be um, I want to wait till I get the minor factions I want and then I could maybe do it yeah so undamaged oh 5849 yeah that's exactly undamaged <clears throat> all right we're getting attacked here let's go ahead and go with repair Three, four, five. So everybody's going to be in the center lane. So we could just stack everything in the center lane. <laughs> and that should be fine. How are we stacking up against them? Quite favorably. And we should repair a good bit. And the amount of, let's see, this guy is all short range. Yeah, I guess we'll chance it. We might kind of take a lot of damage here. Um, I think let's let's go long range because we'll probably take less damage, and we'll just try to get as much damage as we possibly can. That guy's long range. Let's see if we have another long range only ship that we can stick on the other lane.
guess that'll work. Three, four, five. He might have somebody at the top lane, so. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be fine. You could get an extra 10% damage out. <clears throat> Guess we'll go with that. Hmm. <laughs> Don't. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Plus twenty five percent short range defense. taking a lot of damage he might not survive yeah, we were in the dead zone well fortunately we're cross lane here so that makes it long range so those guns are not as effective was close wow <laughs> okay we need a little more fleet over there we're kind of underpowered right now all right let's send some reinforcements up here Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. What I wanted to do was pull this bolt out, but we, we got attacked. Yeah, it's getting a little spicy in here. Okay, so we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna play dirty now. We're gonna play dirty. Is not good. <laughs> okay, it won't let you take all of them away. You have to keep minimum of one command point in the center lane. So I'm going to go with that one ship. He'll probably do a similar. Same, same tactic. Uh, if he does, um, then most of his fleet will be up here. So he'll only have one ship in this center lane. So what's going to happen is this guy is going to get blown up. And hopefully 
this guy will survive. <laughs> That's the plan. And then we'll repair 30%. <clears throat> So, fingers crossed, that's how it goes. Yep, they did a repeat. So we're sacrificing that ship to save this ship, basically. Skip to action. And now there's a center lane that's empty between us, so we can't shoot each other. So we're both out of out of range of each other. And that one bolt is now almost fully repaired. <clears throat> Whew. All right, well, I'm out of time to play pretty much. I guess I can maybe get one more battle in. Let's see how this went. They have a whole bunch of fleets. Look at this. So we're going to have that fight. Then we're going to have this one and this one and this one and this one. We're going to have a whole bunch of fights. <laughs> and then we have more coming after that, right? There and there. So I don't have time to do all of those, unfortunately. I have to get ready for work and stuff. So I think what we'll do is we'll just pick up here uh, next time with... Lots more combat at Eden 2 uh, due to the pirate mark. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's how it's going to go, man. Um, and then we're also going to do some fighting here, right? And we'll do some fighting here next time. So we're going to have a lot of combat. We're going to um, bring these fleets in here to Hekka after we dispatch these guys. We'll move these fleets in here, get that thing stacked up, um, and get that sieged going on in earnest and uh yeah we'll attack this fleet over here in emnos too next time and we'll attack here at jade onyx one so we're gonna have a whole bunch of combat in the next uh in the next video so till then uh thanks for watching folks see you on the next one